While it seems like a story out of a science fiction novel, it is real. With the help of a Canadian graduate student, an Italian surgeon is hoping to complete the world's first successful head transplant. William Sikema is a Canadian chemist from British Columbia and a graduate student at Rice University. His technology could be used in a proposed surgery that would take the healthy head of one man and transplant it onto the beheaded body of another. William Sikema is joining us now from Houston with more. Good morning. Welcome to our program, William. Thank you, Marcia. It's a pleasure to be here. So first question for you, who would require this type of surgery? Uh, so anyone who's been through a traumatic injury, like a car accident, their whole body is ripped to shreds, or a person who is undergoing some, some uh, wasting disease like muscular dystrophy, uh, which, which Valeri has. And so how would it work? The surgery itself? Yes. Uh, so the idea is you very carefully take the head off, you cool it down, and then uh, you reconnect it. The, the plumbing is pretty easy. We do heart, trans heart transplants all the time. Uh, but the hardest thing is re reconnecting the spinal cord, and that's where, where my involvement is. Yes. Okay. So that leads me to my next question. What is it that you have uh, discovered or created? I believe it's pronounced graphene nano ribbons. What yeah. is that? Here's a little sample of it here. You can see it's very, very black. Okay. Uh, all graphene material is very black. Uh, and essentially, graphene is a single sheet of uh, carbon atoms. Uh, but a graphene nano ribbon is a single sheet of carbon atoms that's in a very long, thin uh, formation. Uh, and it's conductive, and neurons really like to go on, grow on conductive surfaces. So the way this works is it's a sort of a, a pathway for the neurons to grow along. Uh, so it, it guides the neuronal growth. Uh, and normally in a spinal cord, after you get a cut, the neurons don't know where to grow. Uh, but this sort of directs their path. So Dr. Sergio Canavera, Canavero is the man who, the surgeon, the Italian surgeon, who believes yeah. that he can do this procedure. How did the two of you connect? How did he know that you had created something that it would make it possible to connect that head to, to a body? So yeah, this January, uh, last January, when he published his paper, uh, I, I read it and then I uh, contacted by, him by email and asked if he would be interested in some sort of conductive substrate uh, for a neural scaffold, and they said, yes, actually, I was reading uh, papers from your group, and I was very interested, but I didn't know who to contact, so I'm glad you reached out. So he was actually looking for someone like this, uh, and I just happened to reach out to him. So how close is this to becoming a reality? Uh, uh, we tested the material in mice, uh, but we still need to do some further testing in uh, larger animals before I think it's ready for a human. For a human. And what are some of the challenges? Because unlike a heart or a liver, this is not a single organ. What are some of the challenges to doing this type of a transplant? I'm uh, really a chemist, not a transplant surgeon, uh, but I would imagine this person would be on some sort of anti-rejection medication for the rest of her life, uh, maybe a higher dosage than normal with, uh, with regards to a single transplant, because you can imagine the body's immune system might be attacking the head. Uh, so there might be ha you might have to do some uh, immunotherapy. It is fascinating. Uh, William Sikama, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a good day.